we had to work on our cars. Just didn't have the money to take them all to the shop. I didn't have the cash to buy another car. So we fixed the one that I've got. I remember putting a 74 Beetle into a ditch late one night and then having to pull the body off and cut the front end off and get it going down the road again. We were a family of seven, mom, dad, Jim and John, Wendy, big sister, myself, and little brother, Scott. Dad was stationed at the Special Weapons Station here in Charleston, South Carolina. Kind of out of necessity, if something was broken, we had to fix it, that was the deal. Figuring out what the problem is and fixing it, whether it be engines, whether it be suspension, whether it be trying to figure out how to efficiently put together a bicycle. It's all the same kind of stuff. You learn patience. You learn to work with your eyes closed. The satisfaction of even changing your oil, adjusting your valves, whether it's driving better or not, it is. You've put time and energy and sweat and tears into it. There is satisfaction in doing things on your own. Thomas, we should call it Brothers Rich. Boom, done. It was just that simple. It was really created around family and, and to get us together and talking and laughing. We take ideas and craft them into a beautiful reality. It's not about the consumer so much. The goal was not to sell, never was. I don't know that I ever should be. When I get on the water or I get out in nature, knowing that you're way offshore and you gotta get back, you tend not to think about your work day. Fishing is a necessity in the, in the sense that it's not about catching, it's more about chasing. I'll always enjoy kind of being a part of the natural things around us. I think it makes us better people if we appreciate that kind of stuff. John lost his life at 46 years old. With Scott having passed away at 20, you can do everything right and not have the outcome be what, what you had planned. I love the water and I love the sunshine and happiness. If there's a certain amount of time every week that I can get to that and embrace it, I'm not gonna wait to live life. I try and live it every day. That's what I strive for in the end, is finding that amidst the chaos that is life. <laughs>